copy paste to my Co N16. I will never forget the many sacrifices for a family. It took the heart of the philosophy or the value of education. The teaching that while one can lose his riches or popularity over the course of his life, or even off, unfortunately, part ways with good friends, education is enduring and yours to keep for the rest of your life. Thank you for coming on, Michael. Pursue 
do what we truly enjoy doing and do it successfully in the next couple of years. I also dream that we all end up successful in the definition laid out beforehand about helping the general population. I'm not one to bet, but when I do, I usually do it big. And I bet that this graduating class will succeed in achieving those two dreams. We will all be successful in the fields we do, and we will all pursue what we love doing. The road ahead will be long. Our climb will be steep. We may not get there in four or five years, or even a decade, but graduates, I have never been more hopeful than I am today that we will get there. I promise you, we as a class will get there. Now as I look back for the millionth time, I see how privileged I, we have, we were to have the opportunity to meet the people we met and the many experiences we faced. From black and yellow to system dynamics, my experience here at LHEC has truly been, for lack of better words, special. As human nature, we may all have made mistakes and may hold some regrets. But I usually don't like to hold regrets, as it lets somebody, it forces somebody to live in the past and to forget the bright future that, that may be ahead of them. That being said, at this very moment, I have two regrets. Scandalous, I know. <laughs> My first regret is the fact that I didn't have the opportunity to have gotten to know each and every single one of you. Now you may find this naive of me, but it's truly saddening knowing that there are people in, my very, in this very graduating class that I'm not standing up here representing that I haven't gotten to meet or never have the opportunity to meet. All I can really say to them is have a good life and hope everything goes well for you. My second regret, and the one that is probably true for many of us, is the fact that Next year, as we follow the paths that have come before us, there will be faces and people we have become so accustomed to seeing in our daily lives, missing from our every day. I have developed many deep relationships with many of you here, and it will be truly sad to know that some of you will part ways as we head out into the many nice futures. These, my friends, are my two greatest regrets. As I said before, I don't have, I usually don't hold any regrets, but for this class, I will allow myself to live in the past, as I will never remember my past four years here at like secondary school. My time and experience here has just been truly amazing, memorable, inspiring, and sensational, and I don't want for one second want to forget it. So as we await the start of our futures, let us rejoice one last time as Hegers. The spotlights are shining on us, and at this very moment, each and every one of you is looking better with it. I will be doing better with these lights on. Don't let this feeling you have in your heart fade, and let the light forever shine. Today, as I say to you, the challenges we face are real. They are serious, and they are many. They will not be met easily, or in a short span of time. But know this, fellow graduates, they will be met. La vie est comme une bicyclette. Il faut avancer pour ne pas perdre de